Great news out of Utah and Boise. A Utah-based bank has just pulled a sponsorship from an upcoming Boise Pride Festival in backlash to a, a, a drag kids show where children as young as 11 were set to perform. Uh, They say, over the years, Zion's Bank has supported a variety of pride events because they are an important part of our support for LGBTQ employees and allies and are representative of our efforts to foster an inclusive, diverse, and equitable workplace and community. This support for all of our employees uh, and communities remains unchanged. But they said, we're not, we can't do the kids stuff, okay? (laughs) We're we're really open-minded. We'll even support kind of weird sexual parades in the streets, but just leave the kids out of it, please. And the Boise Pride response was, we can't. We can't. Boise says, minors have participated in the Boise Pride Festival both on and off stage for many years. Pride and inclusivity do not begin at age 18. You know, this story was just going around yesterday. I I assume it has to date back to Pride Month. Although who knows? Actually, now not only is Pride Month in June, Pride, there's another version of Pride Month in October, which is the LGBTQ History Month. So a full sixth of the year is now dedicated to uh, eccentric sexual behaviors. Pretty soon it's probably going to be the whole year. Regardless though, whether this was June or October, the, the point remains the same. The, the important takeaway here is the libs have to push this on kids. They have to. I know a lot of people who are kind of moderate or in the center, they'll say, wow, this is just so crazy. The the left, the sexual revolutionaries, they can get away with all the pride stuff they want and put it in public and probably march the, the parade around City Hall. They can get some of the Biden administration officials who go to satanic leather or fetish parties and they could probably get them to give a keynote speech. They could get away with all of it if they would just leave the kids out of it. Why are these people so stupid? Why are they so stubborn that they have to involve the kids? But they, they have to involve the kids because if they don't, then they are admitting that the, the events are obscene, right? The reason to exclude the kids is because this is sexually explicit, obscene behavior. But if it's sexually explicit, obscene behavior, why would we have it in, in the public square at all? If this is why they have to trans the kids too. There are people who are in the middle and centrists who say, come on, look, if an adult wants to chop his genitals off, that's fine. Just don't, just don't make the kids do it. But they, they have to make the kids do it (laughs) because if they don't have the kids do it, then they are admitting that it doesn't really make a lot of sense. And it's actually probably disordered and wrong. And you've at least got to wait for, if a kid's going to do something so destructive as chopping his own genitals off, he should, you shouldn't do it when he's 12. He should at least wait until he's 18 or 21 or something. But, but if it's very likely disordered and destructive and, and all those things, then the adult shouldn't be doing it either. Okay, the, the, what the libs are doing here is just taking their own premises to their logical conclusions. Men can really be women. Women can really be men. If a man or a woman is sexually confused, they should chop off their genitals. Okay, if that's the premise, then absolutely, you've got to take it all the way and kids should do it too. Frankly, kids especially should do it because once puberty sets in, it's going to be a lot harder to, through plastic surgery, make, make yourself look like the opposite sex. So that, and that's, and that's the argument that the honest libs are making right now. And it makes sense. The problem with it is that the premise is wrong. The problem with it is that the premise that boys can really be girls, that's a wrong premise. The problem with the pride parade here is that the premise that the pride parade is wholesome family fun is just wrong. It's not. It's a, a, it's a sexual show. So you might say, okay, if you don't want to ban it, if you don't, if you don't want to make, pass a law against these weird sex shows, fine. They should be in the back dark dingy nightclubs in back, dark, dingy alleys of the neighborhoods that the wholesome people don't go to, <laughs> okay? And there have been shows in those neighborhoods forever, but there, there have been weird things on the fringes of society since time immemorial. But you really get into trouble when you take those things that are on the fringes of society and put them right into the center, right into the middle of the town square. That's just absurd. That, that goes way beyond tolerance. That, that, that takes tolerance into the realm of truly into the realm of the absurd. So the libs have to double down on all this stuff. And they're doubling down, speaking of our friends in the United Kingdom, they're doubling down by turning a beloved British children's cartoon gay as well. Peppa Pig. I don't, I've never watched Peppa Pig. I guess I could have started to watch it with my children soon, but I now have no intention of doing that. Peppa Pig 
has gone gay. Everything else is gay, so Peppa Pig has gone gay too. Uh, critics have apparently taken issue with Peppa Pig because it glorifies the family. And by the family, I mean what is now called the traditional family. I just call it the family, but it's the traditional family. You know, mommy and daddy and the kids, and they live together, and they, they uh, are educated together, and they, you know, have dinners together, and they function as a family. Well, some critics have taken issue with that because on the left, they want to destroy the family because the family is a great impediment to their cultural and political revolutions. So in 2019, they started a petition that demanded that the series creators add a same-sex couple. Not just a same-sex couple, by the way, a same-sex couple with adopted or surrogate children. I don't know how they got children, but with children, you know, they want to create this kind of mimicry, this, this, um, this imitation of a family with all the kind of sexual revolution stuff built in. And so they start this petition. It obviously has nothing to do with the plot line of the show. They just demand it because it will make them feel better about their own sort of sexual ideologies and, and delusions. The petition has garnered over 23,000 signatures, and now Peppa Pig has given in. They introduced a, uh, a lesbian couple, and then the little, the little baby Peppa Pig says, quote, I live with my mummy and my other mummy. So the reaction from this that you're going to hear from not just the conservatives, but from the centrist people and the independent people and the, the ones who maybe even they're center left and they say, why does, there, why does everything have to be so political? Why does everything have to be so woke? Come on. Why, why did, c- can't you leave the cartoons alone? This is a very common refrain that you hear from very reasonable people. But there's an answer to it. Why does everything have to be woke? Because you won't stop it. That's why. Because in politics, the people who want something are always going to win against the people who are indifferent. That's why. Because the the people who, for whatever ideological or sexual or appetitive reasons, want there to be a couple of lesbians on this kid's cartoon, they're willing to just go out there and whine and whine and complain and beg and shout and boycott and do whatever. And the people who don't want that very often are not even willing to make an argument against it. Why should there not be a lesbian couple with kids on the children's cartoon? The answer is because it's disordered. It's very disordered, and two ladies cannot create a child together. And so the only way to do that is by reordering our adoption system or creating all sorts of new bioethical concerns through surrogacy and and in, in vitro fertilization and buying a man's sperm and renting a woman's womb and all the rest of it. And it's all disordered and it's wrong and it's un- morally unacceptable. And that's why it shouldn't be there. Very few conservatives are willing to say that because they don't want to be called phobic or bigoted or intolerant or whatever. And so they don't want to say that. All the conservatives are going to say is, come on, don't you think, why does it, why has it got to be so woke? It's got to be so woke because you won't articulate the argument against it and you won't sign any petitions and you won't demand it. And so the people who are motivated and who are eager and, and who do have a plan and a vision for society, they're the ones who are going to win. And these kind of pathetic platitudes for neutrality or just, come on, let's slow things down or, hey, come on, let's leave the kids alone. It's not going to go anywhere. The, the, everything has to be so woke because the woke people can get away with it. That's why. Hello, my lords. Hello, my ladies. Go to establishedtitles.com slash Knowles. You have to do it. This is your opportunity to earn the title of Lord or Lady and gain the respect you deserve. All you need is a one square foot plot of land in Scotland. Established titles can make it happen. It's a project based on an historic Scottish custom where landowners are referred to as lairds or lords and ladies in English. In your title pack, you will be bestowed with at least one square foot of dedicated land on a private estate in Edelston, Scotland, plus an official certificate with a crest. Your certificate features a unique plot number with which you can see the exact location of your land. Title packs 
from established titles are a fun and unique gift for any occasion. There are even couple packs, because you don't want to be a lord and then your wife isn't a lady or vice versa. So you can, you can get that for the special someone in your life. With your certificate, you can officially add the prefix of lord or lady to your credit cards, your plane tickets, even your dating profiles. Plus, established titles commits to preserving the woodlands, not only in Scotland, but around the world. They have partnerships with global charities, such as One Tree Planted and Trees for the Future, to help with our afforestation efforts. And for every order they receive, a tree is planted. Do it right now. Established Titles told me that the first 200 people purchasing a title pack using my exclusive link will receive a plot within a few walking minutes of mine. That's right. So we can be lards and ladies together. Depending on how many of you want to become a lard or lady, we can build our own kingdom. Established Titles is running a massive sale right now. Plus, if you use my code Knowles, you get an additional 10% off. Go to EstablishedTitles.com slash Knowles to get your gift now and help support the channel. I'm so glad you liked that clip. Now, if you want to get even more clips, would you please ring that bell? Subscribe, get the notifications. We'll see you next time.